Hello, future Macro Missionary member, Jesse Dale, here, co-founder of Macro Missionary. I wanted to take a few moments to explain to you our four phases of your nutrition cycle. We call that periodization and how Macro Missionary is going to periodize your plan. So why is nutritional periodization important? Well, it allows for learning and growth to occur. So once learning occurs, then really growth can occur. And we can't expect you to maintain results over a lifestyle if you haven't learned the why behind what we're asking you to do. Of course, we want to prevent burnout, allow to build a faster metabolism, and give you a plan that is sustainable for a lifetime. Properly setting up your goal is something that we're going to focus on huge defining the goal, determining why it's important, and determining the driving factors behind that goal. That is an unstoppable goal. We call that purpose-driven nutrition. And once we find your purpose, you are going to be so driven that you will see amazing results. And that's why diets fail. They're not purpose-driven, they're not sustainable, and they don't teach you how to maintain those results for a lifetime. So diving right in, this is what you can expect your plan to look like or the different phases of your plan. You have your early goal. Athletes might call this a preseason. So here we're setting up your goal as previously mentioned. It's very, very focused on that goal. You're learning the process. You're getting involved in our macro missionary community. And we're tweaking your distribution based off the feedback and communication that we get from you here the most. So Communication is important in all of these phases, but very, very important here. So we have you on the right distribution for you. Mid-goal or the AKA your season, here we're focusing on the finer points of micronutrition, coaching you on a daily, pro daily basis, accessing execution results and adherence, accessing or assessing any compositional changes. A lot of times your body weight's going down, so we might need to change your macronutrient distribution or your biometrics are changing. Most of the changes will probably come in your early goal or your, your preseason, but uh, once you got the hang of it and fat is coming off or your performance is increasing, we may need to tweak things along the way. And of course, we want to validate that that's still your goal. A lot of times people see such great success in phase one that they might change their goal or move on to a more aggressive goal or start to venture into things that they never knew were possible. Post goal, here we want to recover as needed. Here we're again going to reformulate your macronutrient distribution to its predicted maintenance. And we have some assessing and tweaking going on here as well. So post goal, that's where most diets just, they don't have that phase and people yo-yo right back up to where they started. Then we wanna get into maintenance. Once we've determined, hey, this is the look we love, this is what I wanna maintain, um, then we'll reformulate your macronutrient distribution to that and tweak the distribution and set up maybe for this cycle again. Uh, it's often through a lifetime, people will set themselves up other goals, again, take themselves to places they never knew existed. So and that's where we have our purpose and our goal. This is your lifestyle. Some special considerations along the way. Nobody's perfect. There might be a vacation that's planned. No problem. We factor that in. We have diet breaks, which we can reformulate to maintenance levels for you. I've been in the middle of this, these phases many times and, you know, things come up, life happens, you, got, you go on vacation, you get called away for business and whatnot. So diet breaks are definitely a tool we can use. We want to be honest and communicative with our adherence and execution. Again, nobody's perfect, but we don't want to move someone to the next phase until they've mastered the current phase that they're in, of course. And then psychological factors, that's mainly in your post-goal nutrition. We want to make sure that we have a goal that is sustainable. Nobody's going to maintain, you know, 3% body fat or things of that nature. So it's really, really important that we assess and say, okay, this is our total 
goals that we want to do in maintenance. We want to maintain this level of strength, this level of performance, this feeling, or this look, and then formulate to that. And of course, be honest with ourselves on that. All right, hopefully this was helpful for you. We will see you in our community, and we're looking forward to working with you.